move up or move on, baby. Move up or move on? For what reason? I think that should be the title of what you're going to share with them, uh, housing strategies for 2012. This is a very important year because this is going to mark the expiration of the, thank God we had it, uh, Mortgage Forgiveness, Forgiveness Act. Debt Relief Act and Debt Cancellation. The government is uh, ending their um, rain, or they were allowing homeowners to short sell their house and not have to pay the taxes owed on the gain. For instance, the banks were taking a loss and the IRS considers if someone's taking a loss, which was the banks, someone had reported it as, as a gain. So the homeowner would normally report that as a gain and then if you have a gain, you gotta pay taxes. That's just the way it works. So um, they allowed this from 2007 to 2012 and it ends this year. So basically, if you're sitting on, you know, if you're struggling to pay your mortgage, if you've had a, uh, you know, if you got a divorce, if you had a death in the family, if you've had a loss of income, and then for some of you, it's just strategic default. We just don't want to, you know, have this property that's uh, worth 40% than it was. If you want to make that decision, you need to make that decision now. So that's, Go time. That's the move up or move on. Absolutely. Now, when you say move up, what do you mean by that? Well, there's a new thing coming out. It's called HARP 2.0, and it's going to allow people with a Freddie, Ma a Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae loan. It's going to allow them to refinance their property. For instance, I own an investment property. Currently, we pay a little more than $2,000 in mortgages, taxes. Um, with HARP 2.0, I'm going to be able to refinance that property. And Without an appraisal. With that's the key here, without yeah. an appraisal. How sweet is that? So, so if you're upside down in the house, you're still going to be able to take advantage of the low rates that we have offered right now. Right. So now, let's say that's your primary residence and you were allowed to take your your mortgage and cut a third off of it, it may allow you now to qualify to move up, keep that existing house and rent it because now you now you can rent it for those prices because that was a it was for me is I have a renter in there and I was actually losing money each month and it sucked. Right. But now I'm like, you know what? I can keep that property forever because they want to stay and I want to keep them and I don't have to worry about short selling the house. If that was your primary residence, now I can allow you to move up because now with rates at 4%, I mean all time lows. Uh, these kind of opportunities don't come around every day and we just don't want you guys to miss out on it. So we wanted to share and spread the word and let you know that there are some major opportunities coming in 2012. Call don't the CBOC team and we'll explain in more detail and talk about how it will impact you directly. More to come. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.